Good morning, family. In today's devotion, let's talk about today's thought. Someone need you to win. Welcome to today's morning devotion with Pastor Conrad. Be inspired today. Today's thought comes from Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4 to 5, which says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. I read a story recently that in World War I, the American 308th Regiment was surrounded by enemy forces and under severe mortar and machine gun fire. Casualties were heavy and supplies were short. The unbearable situation intensified when American artillery began shelling the sector where the 308th Regiment had dug in. The only communication was by carrier pigeon. In desperation, a sergeant released the last bird with a note pleading for the Americans to hold their fire. As soon as the pigeon lifted off, a stray bullet grazed the side of his head and tore out his left eye. Then a piece of shrapnel hit his chest, shattering his breastbone. But his homing instinct was strong and he struggled onward. Somewhere in the flight, another piece of shrapnel tore off his left leg, leaving the message canister dangling from the torn ligament. The pigeon made it to his loft, however, and the order went out immediately to stop shelling. The 308th Regiment survived. When I read this story, the reality of it became clear. Someone need you to win. In the story, the army regiment would not have lived to tell the tale if that little pigeon had not kept going. The little bird with a lost eye and bullet fragments in his chest and a torn leg kept going because his instinct told him he had to complete the mission. In the text, Jesus took the unbearable beatings. He carried the weight of our grief, our shame, our sins, and he endured the cruelty of the cross because he had our salvation on his mind. He had to win. He had to keep going. He had to succeed or we would never have eternal life. There is someone right now who's depending on you to keep going. Their lives are dependent on you succeeding. Your win is not just for you, but others are counting on you. So you can't give up. No matter how hard it seems, you can't throw in the towel. No matter how uncomfortable the path is, we need you to win. Come on, pray with me. Father, I thank you that today, Jesus kept going just for me. He could have given up, but he didn't. He could have walked away thinking the price was too high, but he kept moving toward the cross. And now, because he finished his work, we have redemption and eternal life through him. Thank you, Father, for Jesus. Amen. Hey, if you'd like an amazing devotional journal for your spiritual journey this year, check out our exclusive Praying the Word Over Your Life's Assignment devotional journal over at kingsedition.com. Remember to make time in your busy life to become a part of a good weekly Bible study group so you can connect with others, build your faith, and learn and grow together as a family. Because the truth of life is, you can't succeed alone. If you enjoyed this, share it with your family, share it with your friends, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and page. Blessings. Thank you for joining us. Visit kingsedition.com for more inspirational resources for your journey today.